A debutant at 16 years of age at Southampton, Gareth Bale inspired both affection and a sense of awe. Since I've got here, like, he's just been like, banging him in. I'm not even exaggerating, he's just been putting him in. But again, I don't want to put pressure on him, just you just have to watch and see for yourself when he plays. Really. Basically, he's got all the attributes of being a top class uh, fullback, so I think he's got a, a very big future in front of him. The top clubs were watching this young Welsh international. When he did move, though, he wasn't even top of the bill. How would he cope with the £7 million price tag? Initially, it wasn't easy. He averaged just 13 league starts in his first three seasons at Tottenham, with only five goals in total. His next move didn't look like being to Real Madrid. I remember Harry Redknapp put me further forward in the end, and I think he finally had enough of me not defending, and, uh, yeah, give me, the, give me the chance to play a bit further forward, and... Uh, yeah, I relished it and I haven't looked back since. His pace, his ability to cross the ball, his left foot, he scored goals with his right foot. He can head it, he can do everything really. He's, uh, and he's only a, still a very young player, he's got a great future. Bale. His stunning hat-trick in the defeat at Inter Milan marked another step up in his career. I remember being 4-0 down, down to 10 men at half-time and... Uh, yeah, thinking the worst, thinking maybe seven, eight, nine, and uh, it was kind of uh, a bit of a surreal second half, but um, one that I'll never forget and uh, a special moment for me. He was the Players' Player of the Year that season, and then again two years later, when his one-man heroics fell just short of hauling Tottenham into the Champions League. It was time for the next challenge. I don't think I, I was uh, expecting the, the, the kind of attention, but, um, yeah, I suppose that... That's part and parcel of being a football player these days. I just want to try a few words in Spanish. Hola, uh, es un sueño para mí jugar para Real Madrid. Uh, gracias. Uh, gracias uh, por esta gran acogida. Hola, Madrid. Bale goes for it. Bale gets it. How is Gareth Bale getting on in Spanish football? Very well, thank you very much. Es excepcional, tiene un chut, yo creo que el mejor de, del mundo. Si, si desde Roberto Carlos no le veía, no veía un, a, un, a un futbolista que le pegase también al, al balón, incluso parado. ¿no? Considering he also had an early season injury to go with his settling in process, Bale's statistics so far this season have been impressive. This season he is really good because he scored a lot of goals, he played for the team. Uh, I think that. Uh, He's going to improve next season because when uh, he starts to train with us, uh, he has uh, he has lucky also because he doesn't have to play the World Cup. Uh, so I think that next season will be better. But we we are really happy for this season. Of all the British players to have had spells abroad, arguably the most successful is John Charles. He was voted by Juventus fans as their greatest ever foreign player. More than 60 years on, another Welshman who's worked so hard on his skills is hoping that in time he might also be thought of with such affection at another iconic club.